Hello everyone. So finally we get to put Tesla on a very important test. We have a hurricane coming in Florida and this is evacuation time. We're gonna be leaving all the way towards the Smoky Mountains in uh, Tennessee and uh, let's see how it goes with right now in Florida starting to be already chaotic at the gas stations. Uh, some gas stations running out, some just have a big line so it's an inconvenient inconvenience. Let's see how the electric car feel and does during such a critical, important times when everybody want to be confident in their vehicles. Now, because I have to evacuate with the entire family, uh, we actually need to utilize a lot of space in the car. So the front comes very handy for some luggage. You see, it's like pretty much standard uh, size luggage. It fits perfectly. There is plenty of room near it, but um, I don't think I even need it. Um, and in the back, I set up a little arrangement. Okay, if you could see a little arrangement for the dogs. So I covered, I opened up the, the back seats, I put them down, and uh, I put some blankets over so they'll feel a little bit more comfortable and don't entirely ruin the white leather. As you can see, I'm almost fully charged, not exactly, but almost probably at about 97%. Um, so rated range right now 239 miles. This is uh, model S75D 2018, mid 2018. Uh, my experience with it that it uh, always does better than it shows if you're not driving like a maniac. So if I'm driving 70, 75, I actually gonna be able to squeeze more out of it. That's my personal experience. Please don't follow this as a guidance on your electric car that they all different and uh, also weather has a lot to do with it. Florida is very flat and very warm so that helps. But let's see how we do. Uh, we planning to drive it all in one day and arrive tonight already to uh, Tennessee in Knoxville uh, right next to Smoky Mountains. It's gonna be fun. We are trying to make out of uh, you know possibly very dangerous situation we were trying to do something positive for a family and uh, transform it into a little vacation we arrived to Tifton Georgia uh, supercharger it's I think it's only six stalls but it's pretty good uh, eight stalls but uh, out of eight stalls only three is occupied right now so again plenty of space we left Florida all the way from uh, Tampa all the way to here just was one little stop uh, at Gainesville and honestly we could have skipped it I think we would just make it on a very 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 close call so I obviously don't want to do that so we stopped in Gainesville for a very little bit and uh, we'll keep going. It was suggesting us another stop and uh, I want to say it's around Lake City which is very close. It was recommended only charge for like 5 to or 10 minutes. So yeah, we just skipped it easily and uh, arrived here with plenty of charge. So yeah, we're going to be charging here according to a computer for the next, uh, let's see, what is it? Here we go. For the next 15 minutes and we're going to be able to go. So don't believe any people who says that you have to stand in a supercharger for hours in order to you know, drive anywhere. It's just 15 minutes and you're on your way. Because you don't need to charge from 0 to 100, you only need to get the charge enough to get you to the next supercharger. And the lower your state of charge, the faster your charge is. So overcharging doesn't really do you any favors. It just doesn't. So yeah, just trust the computer, it's pretty good. When it says how many percent uh, it's gonna be uh, when you arrive to the next charger, this is very accurate. For me personally, I don't know why, but for me personally, it's actually even better than accurate. It's always underestimating. If it says, for example, let's say I will arrive with 10%, I will always arrive with like 15 to maybe even 20%. So whenever I have like five, 10%, I know I'm good to go. You need to know your own car, I don't know if it's for everyone or maybe just because I'm living in the south and uh, because of the weather and uh, you know straight roads uh, that affects very beneficial uh, to, to my um, efficiency 
I don't know about that, so be mindful. But for me, extremely accurate. And on the back, we have a very nice arrangement for the dogs. Fold down the seats, as you can see, so they can roam around and, uh, you know, yep, they are roaming around. They have plenty of space, they lay down comfortably there on the soft blankets. They have uh, water, they have AC coming, fresh air from over here, right to them. So it's a pretty comfortable trip for them, I, I believe. You know, it looks like they are pretty happy. And uh, it's not really stressful at all. And uh, traveling with the dogs, supercharger is actually perfect timing because you do want to walk with your dogs every, like, what, few hours. You want to, you know, let them stretch a little bit, go for a bathroom. So the supercharger is perfect. We drive, we drive for like two and a half, three hours between the stops. It's, it's perfect. Um, so right now we're still going according to the schedule. Uh, I think we're gonna arrive around 10.30 p.m. to our hotel in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is uh, right next to Smoky Mountains. So it should be awesome. Until then, we still have uh, just two more chargers. That's it. Not including this one. So after this charger, only two more chargers and we're gonna be there. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. I see a lot of traffic around Atlanta though, but hopefully it's not gonna really affect us. And keep in mind that electric vehicles in the traffic where it's like congested, some sort of like uh, slower movement on the road, they're actually more economical than on a highway. So when people like concerned about like, okay, I'm gonna be, I have to go like an evacuation route, for example, right? And then you're gonna hit the traffic. Oh, I'm gonna lose charge and then my car gonna kind of run out of charge in the middle of traffic. That's exact opposite with uh, electric cars. If you hit in the traffic, your car becomes more economical and you'll actually spend less energy so you can actually drive further with a lower speed. Obviously, assuming that you're not in like complete deadlock and you stopped and you just stop and you know you're not moving still for like three hours with AC on and everything, then yeah. That's probably not going to be very economical, if you know what I mean, but traffic usually is actually beneficial from a consumption perspective for electric vehicles. So it's certainly not a problem, I'm not afraid of it, I just don't really want to sit in it, I would like to just keep going, I want to see the mountains, I want to let doggies run around. That's my only concern. Rather than that, it should be pretty fun. All right. Uh, since we already skipped Florida, it's not really a concern that we're gonna get in any traffic on the highway because inside actual Florida, I actually did experience quite a bit of traffic with, I think people trying to evacuate a little bit early, just we are, like we are. I've seen a lot of RVs, I've seen a lot of, you know, people with a bunch of stuff packed on their roofs. So people clearly, you know, evacuating early. A few years ago, I was evacuating not so early and it was horrible experience. I was driving a gasoline car and I almost ran out of gas and the traffic was horrendous. It was bad, it was just purely bad. So this time it shouldn't be that bad. I don't think we're already experiencing any like Floridian traffic over here anymore. So I think we're good to go. All right, let's just enjoy the road. It is midnight and we finally arrived to our hotel in Knoxville, Tennessee. We are one and a half hour behind our original schedule, but the only reason is outrageous traffic around Atlanta, Georgia. It was horrible. Um, 
we spent like precisely one and a half hour just literally standing there. Uh, apart from that, uh, everything else on schedule, no delays with charging, all the charges were good, none of them were uh, over occupied, there was always at least half of them available, I would say, most of the time actually probably more than that. Uh, but yeah, everything was good, did not spend too much time on charging whatsoever, pretty much every charger we overcharged because uh, at the time we were walking with the dogs and then maybe visit the restroom ourselves. That said, we already like charge more than enough. So we skipped uh, two chargers uh, along the original route. So that, that's pretty good, it's, it's impressive. Uh, overall, uh, just to tell you stats, uh, the whole trip was 660 miles and we spent in total 204 kilowatt. And our average was 310 watt per mile, which is uh, for me personally is a little bit high on a higher end. My overall uh, throughout the whole entire ownership uh, average uh, energy consumption is 290. So I feel like it's probably because of elevation. So we're going a little bit up, closer to the mountains. Uh, that's that's what I'm kind of relating this to. Because I was not really speeding, I was driving just normal, just like everybody else uh, within the speed limit. Not much more than that, but somehow we spent a little bit more energy than usual. But still, was more than enough, plenty, and uh, trusted computer. I just followed computer, Tesla, and navigation. I did not really improvise at all. Uh, the only thing, like I say, sometimes, uh, two, twice, I overcharged a little bit. And I decided just to skip on a planned uh, charger simply because, well, there was no reason. What's the point to stop for five minutes on a charger, right? Uh, if if you make any make the next stop anyway. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this trip. Uh, hopefully now you know that it's not that big of a deal to jump in your electric car and uh, you know drive very far away. Uh, at least in the United States, it's certainly not a problem. Yes, you can use it as your evacuation car uh, in in case something you know horrible and scary happens, like it's happening right now in Florida. Um, it works. It works as a main vehicle. It absolutely does. Uh, but hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if there is any questions. And uh, for me, that's it. I'm gonna go get some rest, and tomorrow I'm gonna enjoy Smoky Mountains. Have a good one, everyone.